Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Tech Conversations. I'm your host Guillermo, it is July 26th. Hope you're all having a great day today. As you can see, it is a green day for me. I'm not actually up $700, this is a glitch by Robinhood. I'm up more like $200 today, so we'll see what the rest of the day brings us. Now in today's video, I wanna talk about something very important, how to potentially find an options play that may profit big. We're talking 100, 200, 300% returns. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, but before I get into that, all I ask is that you guys hit the like button down below and subscribe, guys. It really helps out the channel. So again, this is a very important topic because in order to be a successful options trader, you need to find the right options to trade. Now, there's various different ways to do this. The first way that a lot of people do this is by using what is called as technical analysis. Robinhood's not the best platform to use technical analysis with, uh, but for example, you can, you can expand a particular stock and you can figure out some information on it, right? So for example, the MACD, you have your RSI, you have your moving average, exponential moving average, you can add a lot more here. This shows you volume as well. So this is one way that people try to find a successful options trade by using technical analysis. A different way that you could potentially find a good options trade is by going to, for example, Yahoo Finance. You can search up any stock. So let's say we go to Microsoft, ticker symbol MSFT. We can go into the financials for Microsoft and we can use fundamental analysis. So we could, for example, take a look at the balance sheet and try to determine how much uh, or what a good price for Microsoft should be. And then depending on that analysis, we can potentially make an options play on the stock. So again, there's technical analysis, there's fundamental analysis, there are, there are a lot of different things. Uh, but sometimes these things can be very time consuming, or maybe they're just too technical to understand. And maybe sometimes you just want some more data to confirm your view after you've done your own research, or maybe you just want a place to start. So let me show you then how you can do this, how you can find a great place to start or a place to kind of confirm your views already on a uh, particular options play. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to barchart.com. So this is bar chart here. And so you'll go to the home page and you'll land uh, right here basically. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on options and what you wanna do is you wanna go over to the unusual options activity link right there. So we're gonna click on that, okay? Now, just like the name suggests, this is going to be unusual activity occurring uh, across uh, multiple options. And so as we scroll down here, we see a list of stocks, but more specifically, these are specific options on that stock. So for example, if you take a look at the very first one, we see SNAP, ticker symbol SNAP. This is a put option at the $58 strike that expires on August 20th. If we look at the volume on this, the volume has been crazy. The volume here spiked. And so this uh, made it an unusual options activity event. And the reason this is significant is because this tells us that some large investors are taking a major position here, or a lot of people are suddenly very interested in these options. So there could be people out there that know something that we don't that are coming in and they're all of a sudden interested in these options. Could even be things like insider trading. I still believe that happens. That could potentially be part of it. Uh, and so this could result in a huge price movement and even changes in a trend direction. And if we can determine whether the unusual activity involves puts or calls, which this actually tells us, uh, then we can get a better understanding of the likely ongoing trend here. Uh, so let me go, for example, if I keep going down the list, I see this one right here. So this is ticker symbol TAL. This is telling me that the call option at the $10 strike expiring on August 20th is seeing some very unusual options activity. So what I can do is I can go back to uh, Robinhood here, and I'll go back here, and then I'll search up TAL. So I can click on this. Now I'm gonna come here, and the first thing I'm gonna see with this stock is that it's down 20% today. 
So again, you do need to do your own research, your own due diligence. It's not like it's something you should just jump into and go into. You still need to do your own research, uh, but it can give you a great place to start or it could definitely confirm your own views after doing research on a stock. So I'd go into the options here for TAL. And again, it's telling me that the call option at the $10 strike expiring on August 20th is seeing some unusual options activity. Now, if I click on this, I see that this has some very high volume, has some very high open interest. Remember, open interest is basically the number of contracts that is sitting in people's brokerage accounts right now. They haven't been closed out yet. It has some very high open interest. Uh, it also has some very, very high implied volatility. And remember, implied volatility, the higher it is, the more investors are expecting to see a bigger price movement uh, on the stock. And so this could potentially tell us but there are a lot of people that are making a big bet that this stock is going to go higher, right? Because a lot of people seem to be getting into this contract here. Keep in mind, this is also very far out of the money. So for a lot of it, people to be, you know, buying this call option, uh, it, it could potentially mean something. Now, a couple of things to understand here. Number one, this is not a 100% guaranteed no risk approach. This is helpful for giving you an idea on what to potentially trade next or confirm any due diligence that you have done already on a particular stock. And so how can we make money here then? So again, luckily for us, right, if we go back to bar chart, uh, all options have expiration dates. So if somebody is taking a huge position on an option, uh, then we can expect the move to happen before the expiration date on that particular option. So again, for example, with TAL, the expiration date is August 20th. So if someone is taking a big position in this, then we can expect that they think that that move will happen prior to August 20th. And so, for example, you could potentially take advantage of this by placing uh, the same order. Now, here's the most important part of this. You need to be very careful with this because there's two different things that could be happening. So number one is investors entered a position because they believe there's going to be a huge move and that's going to happen in the stock, right? So they believe a huge move is going to happen in the stock. That's why they're entering this position. So that could be kind of maybe uh, what's going on here. Now, the second reason, and this is why you need to be careful, they could be doing it, investors could be entering this position to potentially hedge against their stock. So for example, if I go back to bar chart and I look at the very first one, which is Snap, right? Let's go to Snap here, for example. So if I go to Snap, S-N-A-P, and then we'll go to the options here for the stock. Uh, so if I go down here, uh, trade Snap options, so let's take a look here. So according to bar chart, it's telling me that the put option expiring on August 20th at the $58 strike has some pretty unusual options activity. So let's go over there. So let's go to August 20th and then let's go to the $58 strike. And this is a put option. So we'll go to the $58 strike put option down here. Right, so it's telling me this one has some high, uh, some unusual options activity, very high volume as we can see. Uh, so for, for example, this could potentially just mean that there's a lot of investors that are buying these puts right now to hedge their stock position. Not necessarily because they believe Snap will have a huge price movement downwards, but more so because they wanna protect their stock, the stock that they're holding by hedging it with buying a put option. And so this is why you shouldn't just go off of the unusual options activity. This is why you should check a lot of different things. For example, whether there's an upcoming catalyst, like an earnings report, a product launch, etc. You need to research first, form your own position, and just use this as confirmation or again, kind of just a place to start. So again, uh, this is very helpful here. Always checking unusual options activity. Again, there's people that may know something that you don't. Uh, there may be investors taking some pretty big positions in here. And again, if you know people are all of a sudden very interested in an option, uh, that could potentially mean that there's people that know something that we don't, or they very you know people. A lot of people expect there to be a big uh, 
movement in the underlying stock. So again, this is a great place to always start or kind of just confirm, you know, kind of something, uh, you know, confirm uh, whatever research you've done on a stock. Uh, so definitely use this here. Again, it's free on Bar Chart. And Bar Chart, again, has a lot of other great things that you can use on their website as well. So anyways, if you have any questions about anything that I just talked about, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Check out the Discord link to it in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time.